Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. I have a minor update from uh, American Gene Technologies. I was just looking at their website. Uh, they have updated uh, update for December 8, 2023, which is tomorrow. Right now we are on 7th of December 2023, so you're seeing it first here. Let me take you to the screen out there and we'll read what they have to say. And then I'll come back and talk a little more. Well, here we are in the American Gene Technologies website, which also says that visit Ad Immune because they have spun off as per their schedule. So this is the most recent uh, clinical trial update. It's dated December 8, 2023, and it gives definitive uh, forward-looking statements, which we did not have before, so it is significant. It says American Gene Th uh, Technologies has completed our phase one clinical trial, and we have submitted the final report to the FDA. In the meantime, we are designing the phase two clinical trial protocol and working to identify manufacturers and trial sites. As we review the phase one data with uh, potential collaborators and partners, the response has been consistently enthusiastic about the early data. The analytic treatment interruption has already highlighted impressive viral suppression and immunological data. We hope to initiate the phase two clinical trial as soon as new protocol is approved. Pending FDA approval of phase two, Data collection should complete late 2024 or early 2025. And guys, if you have accounts in Facebook or X, you can follow American Gene Technologies there to get the latest uh, clinical trial developments because they'll be posting it out there as well. And I'm going to be looking at that also because um, that's how I'll be getting the latest updates. Um, and so I, I've heard a few comments um, in our comment section where people were saying that there was a lot of uh, hype and enthusiasm around AGT and now things have died down. Oh, that's not the case at all. Uh, it's just that uh, American Gene Technology is no longer like the private company it used to be. Now AGT 103-T has gone into Ad Immune, uh, which comes under SEC guidelines uh, at this stage. And they have to be absolutely careful about what they talk, where they talk, and how they talk about things. So uh, they have to follow their own internal protocol. They have uh, legal counsel, and they have a whole lot of um, uh, hierarchies that have to be built in for it to be a, a proper uh, public company. Uh, and uh, that's the reason why we don't hear too much. Uh, but let me tell you this. Uh, the interim data of the analytical trial interruption um, is, is reasonably encouraging because um, uh, the two of those patients had uh, really good counts uh, post-ATI. Uh, uh, and uh, what we need, I think that's what Jeff Galvin also highlighted, is statistically significant number of uh, patients demonstrating uh, improvement. And in order to do that, they need to put more money into the process and get more uh, patients into the trial. And then they will be able to demonstrate that to FTS. They are uh, uh, optimistic of getting into phase two as per the update we saw on their website. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, because they have uh, transferred AGT 103-T to Ad Immune, uh, Ad Immune has got more funds than American Gene Technologies had, and it will be able to invest appropriately to staff and uh, get volunteers for the uh, clinical trial and take it into a situation where they can have statistically significant um, demonstration of uh, AGT 103-T's effectiveness, uh, efficacy, and safety both. So I think uh, that's where what they're working towards. And I personally feel that 2027 is a time frame when both EBT-101 and AGT-103 uh, both might be entering uh, the market, hopefully, because it is going to be something similar to Exacel and Lovocell uh, getting approved weeks apart. So that's the way I look at it uh, based on whatever I understand. Of course, friends, this is my personal opinion. I'm neither a scientist nor a doctor. Uh, I'm just a regular investor who is trying to gain insights into these companies uh, so that we can catch them young before they get into the market. So uh, I'm very optimistic for AGT, uh, American Gene uh, Technologies, as well as Ad Immune. Uh, so this is a very brief uh, video to give you the update that had come in. Uh, I'll have more videos on HIV uh, this week. I'll have one more video. So please do not think that this is the second video for the week and it's done. There'll be one more. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.